Welcome back guys, James here from Seacoast. Today we're going to be downloading a Factions plugin to show you how you can make a faction server easily. So the plugin we're going to show today is going to be Saber Factions. That's going to be because it works up until 1.18, which is currently the newest release. Just to let you know nice and early, we will also be using Vault because Vault has uses a currency, and if you do want to use the currency on the plugin, um, that's going to be how you do it. Now this is a great little plugin. It's got lots of stuff, everything from, like I said earlier, an economy. You can do claims, uh, you can do groups, you can promote, demote people, jewels, upgrades, missions. You've got a ton of stuff. It's really good, really easy to use, and it's really got no configuration whatsoever. And the one bit of configuration, which is for the economy, will also go through, just so I can show you how you can enable that as well. So with that, let's go ahead and let's download these plugins. Um, so first of all, come on over and I'll leave the links in the description as well. Uh, so we're going to download the latest Sabre Factions and we're also going to download uh, Vault as well. Once downloaded, come on over to your server. If you haven't got a server yet, of course, head on over to seekerhost.co. You're going to grab yourself a great deal here, whether it's a small server um, for you and a couple of friends or whether it's a really large server for you and a whole community of people. So with that, you've got your server, you're logged on. Let's just stop our server first before we do upload anything. So now that we stopped our server, I'm going to upload the files. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Filezilla because I do prefer it. There's no size limitation that you can get with Moldcraft sometimes. And you can download, delete or edit as many files and folders as you like. I'll have a little video popping up now uh, with a video to show you how to do that. So with Filezilla loaded up and I've connected to my server now uh, using the host username, password and port. Again, you'll be able to see that in the video if you don't know how to do that. Um, as we can see here, plugins, I double click that, I haven't got anything in my plugins. And on the left hand side, I've got the plugins that I want to upload. So I'm going to select Vault and Save a Factions and they're both going to be the jar files. We don't need any folders or anything like that. The reason you see folders here um, is because this is from a previous server. So these, this is also the data files for that server. As you can see, that's all done. We've uploaded that quick and easy, probably took about 20 seconds. We can now start our server back up again because we do have the plugins installed. Now, once we start our server back up, um, it's basically going to load up all the plugins and all the configurations and stuff like that. And as well, I'm going to be using a paper 1.18.2 server. They are just much more optimized uh, for Java servers um, and they can also use both Spigot and Bugit plugins. Uh, so it serves a double use. So with that all started up, let's load up in game, make sure it's all running. So now that we're loaded in, let's just go through some of the commands and they're basically all going to start with F press space you're gonna find all of the commands here obviously we're not going to go through all of them um, let's just go through the basic how you start up so F create is going to create you a factions um, let's just put starter for start factions as you can see we started a new faction called starter you can do an F description um, and you can put a message in there for the description for your faction also you got F claim you've also got a power system as well just to make sure that people can't just go ahead and just claim everything and it does work with power as you can see I have zero power and I've done that by doing F forward slash power pretty much everything works with a faction command if I go like this and I just hold the tab button you can see there is hundreds and hundreds of uh, commands that you can do here everything from the permissions you can even add your PayPal on here not that I recommend doing that you shouldn't be doing that that's probably going to be against the minecraft laws and etc not supposed to be selling stuff anyway i won't go into that and um, you've got your scoreboards uh, c chunk uh, set banner you can set officer and moderator and you can have all these different members in your factions as well you can promote players so obviously if there's another player on here um, i can't promote myself but i try anyway as you can see i can't manage uh, my own rank because i'm an admin of the, or the creator of the faction but you got lots and lots of different things one thing though is if you try to access the f bank we're going to say uh it's not enabled please go in the config.json and set econ enabled to true so let's just go ahead and do that now and then once we do that you'll be able to access all the uh, factions economy as well now to get there we go to files and we go to ftp file access where you log in using the multicraft information and to find the config.json we go to plugins um, and then we go to the actual factions plugin itself the folder uh, not just the file on there and as you can see here config.json and let's click edit one way to find things on long pages with lots of text is uh, holding control and pressing f you see the little bar popped up there um, and if we type in there you go I'll put econ enable or if you put econ enable there it will pop up right here we can see that is set to false so all we need to do here set that to true and um, after that save and we restart our server uh, to do that is to come back to the multi craft panel over here and let's hit restart now once this restarts it's going to be restarted and i don't really recommend doing a reload i know you can reload whilst the server is live 
I don't really recommend doing that. I've had lots of bad experiences. It has worked a lot of the time too, um, but just in general on servers, they don't like to be reloaded whilst they're active. Uh, so restart the server. Now when I go and I do F bank, I can also access the bank. Uh, now one of the great things about this plugin is also, like I mentioned, it's got missions. So you can select the mission that you want to go on by doing F uh, missions, I believe. It comes up with a little display, tells you what you've got to do, and you can earn even more money that way. And it's a very good, robust plugin. Um, they've got a Discord where they do most of their information. So I'll leave the link for the Discord as well in the description if you do want to find out more apart from that you can now go ahead and start playing around with your faction server so thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next video bye bye